Um, actually, malaking bagay yung um, these women are representing our country so well. And it's so symbolic na she's a Filipina and the sport is weightlifting so you wouldn't really associate it with females and nasty and boxing. So parang um, Filipinos, I guess, nasanay sila na um, male-centric and like mm-hmm. men are stronger than women and basketball is the best sport ever. Pero at least dito na highlight yung different sports, na highlight yung females na we're just as strong and we can actually win. So um, this is um, such a great Um, month for us. It's, it's a great Olympics, very symbolic. And um, I'm just having hope. So also yung karate, like for me, you know, SEA Games, and for Agatha and Wushu and other other females, nakikita mo na martial arts is not always related to um, men. So kitang-kita na men and women can do whatever they want. And I hope na like for the little girls watching, they can do whatever they can do whatever they dream to be. And so Yeah, and um, I hope that this highlights other sports as well, and um, both men and women, uh, not just um, the men. Yeah, that's been great. Like some of the other athletes, also. Like I'm not as familiar with them nga before because maybe like the exposure wasn't as broad or like as wide compared to like yeah, you said basketball and the other popular sports. But then now they're able to also get the recognition, not only Heidelin and Nesty, but even like the others. The ones, even the even if like Marjeline did that, like she mm-hmm. get more mm-hmm. recognition, even if she didn't win, you don't necessarily need to win, no man. But then, you know, that but you also get the recognition and the appreciation of the Filipinos also because yeah, para all sports to a fault should be like equal, not only like the popular ones in the country. Yes. yes yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but then you you also mentioned yeah, that women are finding their niche here in the. Philippine landscape at least because that's where we are naman and they're finding their uh, way to bolster their I don't know their skills and talents like showcase it also to the world but for you what's like maybe the future what should the Filipino people look forward to in terms of yeah the success of all these female athletes and all yeah in various sports yeah I think um, for the Philippines at least the biggest problem because we're not a very I mean we're still a developing Um, nation so um, we really need the funds and the money and before sports wasn't really that highlighted but then um, now like it's the sign of the times and like SEA Games um, grabe yung um, showcase yung athletes and so we performed really well there and this Olympics is our best showing so I'm just excited na sport we can really be great in sports kung ma-highlight lang tayo and kung magbigay ng support. So maybe this will inspire like the government and the future to actually um, take a second look at the sports and invest in them. Kasi um, really what's difficult is to um, do it on your own. Like it's very hard for an athlete to succeed without support. Kasi in the sports world, kailangan talaga ng support, kailangan ng funds for competitions and exposure and good training and everything. So you can't do it on your own. That's why um, this is a great sign, Sana, na magkakaroon ng more support for the athletes. So I'm just excited about that. Yeah, hopefully. Because yun, si Heidelin, nga, like, it's been flooding our social media wall that when she asked for support in 2019 yata from her IG story. And then now, when she won, parang biglang ang dami nang nagbigay ng support. Like, more than what they actually guaranteed. And it's kind of, I don't know, it's not like, It's kind of, not even sad, but then it's just sayang kasi parang dapat, di ba, parang magbigay ka ng tulong pag nagtitraining. But then, syempre, okay na rin yun that you gave like a reward for what she achieved. But syempre, yung training was more important. And good thing when Heidelin in like her interview with Gretchen Hall, she said that other private people also gave her the funds and gave her the ability to train. And even like during the pandemic, it was kind of hard for her to train for sure. But then at least, you know, she was able to pull through with her gold. <laughs> yeah, and I agree with that. I mean, I think that um, they, the government and everyone, the country should understand that it's hard for an athlete to do it without this mm-hmm. support. Nga. It can't come after, like what you said. Because the training and everything, the preparation, that's yung kukunan niya. And mm-hmm. she, for her to win, she needs that support. And so if everyone's just not going to give, if they're just going to, 
um, tell the athletes na I'll give you these incentives without the support. Hindi rin kaya ng athletes yun. I mean, if they invest in them, tapos magkaka-gold yung athlete nila. And then, super worth it lahat ng investment nila. So, maybe it's an eye-opener na rin and it's great that this happened. So, maybe they can rethink about how they're handling the situation with sports and everything. Yeah, it's a great milestone. Like, yung having multiple, like, having a gold yata and a bronze, like, that's what nasty, like, minimum bronze. Parang it hasn't mm-hmm. happened in 80 plus years yata or something. So, 89 yata, 89 years. And I saw this morning. So, it's been a milestone. So, hopefully, they realize na talagang it's really worth it to actually invest in them and give them the funds and allocate it well. Because for sure naman that it will hindi naman siya masasayang or hindi siya makokorrupt or whatever na pwedeng mangyaring masama. So, I guess, talagang eye-opener nga sana. But then for you, since, yun nga, we mentioned Heidelin getting the gold. How were, how were how you, you naman? How was how your emotions? And how, how did you feel when she won it? Um, it was, I was just really happy for the Philippines and such a great milestone. I mean, it's been hard 2020 because, um, for the pandemic and everything and everyone had to train on their own find their creative ways on how to train and she actually made it and kahit noon ako lang siya sa support uh, despite that nagawa pa niyang manalo so it just shows na kaya ng Filipinos they can be that great world class Olympic level um, and so kung mag support pa nga um, I can't stress enough the support na kailangan mm. um, and it's gonna be it's gonna be so great if magbago na yung support and um, we might double this or we might be greater pa if ever there is more focus on the athletes. So I'm just really excited for the future too. Yeah, a lot of my friends were like inspired and they were also like really happy with what she achieved because yeah, everyone knows naman her like, hindi naman like her whole story but at least part of her story and how she achieved the success she did. Like it's already her fourth Olympics ata and Siyempre yung first two parang medyo hindi pa maganda yung showing niya. Pero yung last two talagang nag-medal, silver na siya, tapos gold. And yung sacrifice yata niya, like she was in Malaysia for a long portion of the pandemic. Because here, she couldn't train yata because it was really bad in terms of the yeah, COVID. Pero she still achieved her goals. Yeah. She didn't make it like hinder her. So like other athletes, like maybe you in the future, if you get to participate in the Olympics, you guys will also have the... Um, inspiration and the motivation to you know strive to also be, get a medal because it's very happy and fun if you you know win it all. And exactly, and that's true. Now, um, looking at her and her story, and four Olympics that's so long, that's like 15 years and more yeah. for preparation. I mean, it's no joke to get in the Olympics and to win it is even more. So grabe yung hirap kita talaga na. It doesn't take just one Olympics, not two, three, but four for her to get the gold. And it's really difficult and pero kaya. So grabe din yung sacrifice na ilinagay niya. For her whole life, she dedicated it to the sport. And it paid off talaga. Kaya kaya ng Pilipino. 